Hey guys, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to teach mom how to get overlays in iMovie. So let me show you how to get these overlays, how to make and create overlays in iMovie, starting now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you today how to put a logo on your screen or on your video. Have it overlay, have it appear like this. How to have it fade out. How to have it move around the screen like you see here. How to have it come on and disappear. And on again, then off again. And how to have it grow and shrink. Okay, I'm going to show you all this right now. Let's jump into it. Okay, as promised, I'm going to show you how to do these overlays in iMovie. And you've got to have it all set up, right? So if you've never used iMovie or you don't know what's going on, I suggest you go watch my first video on iMovie on how to get it all set up properly. I'm putting that a link to that in the card right here, top right corner. Click that now, and you can go see... Um, that first video on how to set up iMovie correctly. The link is also in the description. Or I have another video on how to edit in iMovie, a little bit more advanced than that one, but not as advanced as this one. That link is in the top right corner now. Click on that if you haven't seen that yet. It's also in the description. If you're ready, you know the basics of iMovie, you're ready to do these overlay tricks and uh, we call it keyframing, moving the overlays around, then let's get started. Okay, here's my video that you saw me make the logo appear and move all over the place at the start of this video. But right now there's no overlay, there's no graphic on there. So we're gonna put the graphic on, all right? So first I need to go find where I want the graphic to appear. So let's listen to my video. Video, have it overlay, have it appear like this. So right there where I have my hand, that's me signaling that it's gonna fade in, it's gonna dissolve in. So I'm gonna start right there. Okay, I'm gonna click on that, get my playhead right there. Now I'm going to bring this graphic and overlay it. That's why it's called an overlay. That's why the video is titled How to Get Overlays in iMovie. Okay, and now there's my overlay, all right? I don't know why it's scanning across the top. iMovie's kind of goofy with this stuff. There are better programs for this out there, but iMovie's free, and so I'm gonna show you how to do it with it. So I click on that. Then up here, I can choose this crop button to animate it. That's why it's doing I've got the Ken Burns effect set up. I want to turn that off. I just want to put fit. Okay, so it just fits on the screen. Now it should just be sitting there when I look at it. Okay, that's it's covering it because I then have to select it and click on this little Cutaway option, I want to change that to a picture in picture. Okay, picture in picture puts that on my screen and I select that. And then this is my keyframe indicator. These handles indicate how big or small I make this logo appear. Okay, a drop shadow is this. Sometimes that will make it stand out more. So I'm going to do a drop shadow on it and I'm going to move this over here. Okay. I want it to fit within this space to the side of my head. So I'm going to shrink it to right about there. All right, there we go. All right, I need to make sure my cursor is at the start of it and make sure it's, uh, make sure that it's selected and that my playhead is right there. And then I need to come up here and click on this again, this picture in picture, and I need to make a keyframe right there, a keyframe, okay. That will, that will make a keyframe there, and then I need to tell it where I want it to, sh it to show up. Okay, I don't need to do that. I just realized they have a setting on how I want it to dissolve. I want it to dissolve like that, so it's already in. I can set how fast I want it to dissolve, so let's see how that looks. It appear like this. There it is. I have it fade out. And then when I say fade out, I want it to fade out there. So I need to mark that where my hand signals that it fades out. Come over here and slide that out point so that my clip ends there. And now it should fade out. You see these little dots right there? 
that indicates where it how where it fades all the way in at that's your keyframe and then where it starts to fade out right here all the way out all right so I've made it come in and out here like this I'd have it fade out I'd have it move around the screen like you see here okay now I'm gonna make it move with my hand so what I need to do is go to where my hand starts moving and make a keyframe all right so first off I've got to uh, put it back on the screen so drag it back on have it show up right there let me see where now, I'm I have it move around okay so then I'm gonna select it I've got to go turn off the Ken's burn effect again by clicking the cropping thing and turning off Ken burns by clicking fit sorry that's how you turn it off then I need to go back to this and instead of this square, instead of cutaway, I need to change it to picture in picture. And now I need to move it where I want it. Make it the size that I want it. Again. Okay. I like my drop shadow. So now I've got it there. And instead of a dissolve, what does a swap do? Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. All right. There, I've got my dissolve. I guess I have to have it dissolve on. All right, but I can get rid of the dissolve like this. I don't have it. But I'm gonna let this one dissolve this time. But I do need to make it move. I have it move. Okay, so right at the start where my hand starts moving, I need to put my playhead right there, then click on this box. Then right there, that means add a keyframe. What that's going to do is that's going to make that the anchor point. Then what I need to do is tell it where to move to. So right about here, I'm going to give it another keyframe. So I need to click there. And then I need to move this. Okay, it will automatically make the keyframe when I move it once I've made the first keyframe. Then I need to keep following it. My hand comes down here and then starts moving the other way. So right, you find right where it ends, right there. Okay, I need to move it to right there, and then I need to have it move with my hand back. To right there, click there and go move it. Okay, and let's see where else my hand goes. It's coming back across the screen, right to there. Okay. So I need to move it to be with my hand right there. And then let's see where my hand goes. It's going to come back. I'd have it come on. But come on. Have it come on. So I'm going to end it. You see here. And then I'm going to, right before I start saying how to have it come on. I'm going to fade it out, so I'll bring my out point right there. Okay, so let's watch what that looks like. I have it move around the screen like you see here. How to have it come on? And then where I have it, have it come on, it needs to come on when I snap. Come on. So right at the snap. <laughs> you can move like this a frame at a time, by the way, with your forward and backwards arrows. Okay, that's where I'm going to have it come on. So I need to click and drag it back on. Unfortunately, it's going to make me go set all these settings again. So click on the crop tool, choose fit or crop to fit. No, we want fit, sorry. And then the square tool and choose picture in picture. And then put it where you want it. I'm going to put it back over here. And I'm going to make it have a shadow so you can see it easier. Okay. And I'm going to have a zero dissolve. Zero. So it will just snap on. All right. Let's see it. Here. I'd have it come on and disappear. And then I need to have it disappear right when I snap. Here. So same thing. That's my point. That snap point. Drag my out point, 
to end right there. Now it should come on and off with the snap. I have it come on and disappear. And on again. And on again. So I gotta do it again. Right at the snap. That's my in point. A little trick. So I don't have to go readjust all that again. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna copy it. Command C and I'm gonna paste it. Command V. Okay. Now I don't have to readjust everything again. I just need to move it where I want it. So using my arrows, find the snap sound. Right there. That's where I want it to start. And on again. And on. And then I need to use my arrows again. The snap off. Drag my out point to that point. And there we go. And on again. Then off again. And have it, have it grow. Okay, this one gets a little trickier. We're gonna have it have grow. It have it grow. Okay. So same concept. We're still using keyframes. So I'm gonna cop I'm gonna paste the one I already copied and pasted. Because I like how it is. And I'm gonna have it though, right here where it says grow. And have it. Right before I say grow, I'm gonna have this dissolve in. So let me select this, click on the square, and I'm going to change my dissolve back to a 0.5, so a half a second dissolve, just because I want it to fade in. And have, have it grow. So when I start saying grow, I'm going to have it get bigger. Okay, so that's where I'm going to set my keyframe, right there, and then let's decide where I want it to stop growing. Grow and right before I tell it to shrink. That's where I'm gonna have it get its biggest. Okay. So right there, I'm gonna go like this. Select it. Click on it. If I've made my first keyframe like I should have, it. If I've made my first keyframe like I should have, it should automatically grow it. Let's see what that looks like. And have, have it grow and shrink. Okay. And <laughs> That's actually where I want to start shrinking, so let me fix this here. Okay, I want this. Click on the square. I want that to be my keyframe. Then, then I go to my next keyframe and see how it's an X. I can delete that keyframe. Okay. And shrink. And have it grow. And I want it to stop growing right before I say and shrink. So right there needs to be my. Right there needs to be my max point, okay? So I need to select my square, get this to the size that I want, and the positioning I want. Go right there, okay? And then my other keyframe I need to lose. So I start here, it grows to there, and this one I want to lose, X that out, okay? What I am going to do is have it shrink and shrink and spin. I'm going to have it shrink to right here by shrinking it. And I'm going to move it to right there. And I was going to show you guys how to make it spin, but I discovered that iMovie does not allow you to do that. So we cannot make it spin at this time. If anyone knows how to make it spin in iMovie, then let me see it. So instead of seeing that, where you see me say, and let it spin. And spin. Okay, I'm going to show you all this right now. Let's jump into it. I'm going to just, and edit. Spin. I'm going to just edit all that out. So right here. Right here, I'm going to drag the end of my clip, my out point to there. I'm going to drag that to there. 
I'm going to add a transition to fade this out. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I don't need that. So now let's take a look at what this video looks like. All right, I'm going to show you today how to put a logo on your screen or on your video. Have it overlay, have it appear like this. How to have it fade out. How to have it move around the screen like you see here. How to have it come on and disappear. And on again, then off again. And how to have it grow and shrink. That's it for that training on how to get overlays in iMovie. I realized that I did not show you how to create transparent backgrounds or text or graphics with transparent backgrounds. So if that's something you'd like to know, comment below. If at least 10 people comment that they want to learn how to make graphics with transparent backgrounds, then I will do a video showing you a few different ways to do that. But I need at least 10 comments below asking how to make uh, graphics with transparent backgrounds. If I get them, I'll make that video next. See you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and help promote these videos. Whoa!